In May 2023, something strange happened again with NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. Its Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, which is supposed to keep the antenna pointed at Earth, began sending scrambled and nonsensical data. It was like the system suddenly forgot how to speak properly. Strangely, everything else on the spacecraft looked fine. The signal from Voyager 1 was still clear and steady, and the scientific instruments seemed to be working normally. NASA engineers were initially confused and concerned. They knew the signal was strong, but the information inside the signal made no sense. It looked like the spacecraft had developed a kind of cosmic aphasia, as if it were conscious but could no longer speak in a way we understood. Even more puzzling, Voyager 1's fault protection system, which is supposed to raise alarms if something goes wrong, remained completely silent. Eventually, after weeks of analysis, NASA discovered the problem. The AACS had started routing its telemetry data through a long-dead onboard computer. That computer hadn't been used in decades. It was no longer functioning properly and was not meant to process or send information. Engineers sent new instructions to Voyager 1, telling it to switch back to a working computer system. Amazingly, the spacecraft obeyed and the data returned to normal. Although this fixed the issue, the underlying cause remains uncertain. Some experts believe that it might have been triggered by a corrupted command from another system. This could have been caused by deep space radiation, which bombards the spacecraft constantly. Or it might simply be the result of the spacecraft's aging electronics, which have been running non-stop for almost 50 years. Voyager 1 is a technological marvel of its time, but it's also incredibly limited by modern standards. Its computer has just 70 kilobytes of memory, which is less than what's used by a simple digital watch today. And yet, it has managed to travel billions of kilometers away and still send back meaningful data. That's nothing short of incredible. Being so far from Earth, Voyager 1 faces challenges that most missions never encounter. The spacecraft constantly endures cosmic radiation, extreme cold, and isolation. Susan Dodd, the Voyager project manager, explained that these kinds of glitches are to be expected. This is a spacecraft that has been flying longer and farther than any other, she said. The environment it's in is completely foreign and harsh, so small problems are bound to pop up. Despite these struggles, the Voyagers have changed our understanding of the solar system forever. Thanks to them, we now know that Jupiter is not a calm gas giant but a violent world full of storms, lightning, and massive auroras. Voyager found hidden rings around Jupiter that no one expected. On Saturn, Voyager revealed that its famous rings were not simple structures. They are made up of thousands of thin, delicate ringlets, interwoven in complex ways. It's like nature's own engineering masterpiece. The spacecraft even captured images of shepherd moons, small moons that help keep the rings in shape. One of the most surprising discoveries came from Jupiter's moon Io. Voyager found active volcanoes erupting on its surface, something no one had ever seen outside Earth before. It proved that geological activity isn't limited to our planet. Another shock came when Voyager 2 flew past Neptune's moon Triton. There, it saw geysers of nitrogen gas shooting up from the surface. That means this thermal activity even at the edges of the solar system, where everything was thought to be frozen solid. But perhaps the most famous moment in the Voyager mission came in 1990, when Carl Sagan suggested Voyager 1 turn its camera back toward Earth. The result was the now iconic, pale blue dot, photo. Earth appeared as a tiny point of light, just a single pixel, floating in the sunbeam, that image reminded the world of how small and fragile our home really is, floating in the vast cosmic sea. Since then, both voyages have entered into stellar space. That means they've gone beyond the heliosphere, the bubble of space influenced by our sun. Voyager 1 crossed the boundary in 2013, becoming the first human-made object to do so. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, proving it wasn't a fluke. Radio waves from Voyager 1 now take over 22 hours to reach Earth. For Voyager 2, it's about 19 hours. These signals are caught by NASA's Deep Space Network, a series of massive antennas spread around the globe. It's like listening for a whisper across a canyon. The Voyager's success was made possible by a rare planetary alignment that only happens once every 176 years. 
This alignment allowed engineers to use gravity assists, a technique that uses the gravity of planets to boost the spacecraft's speed and change direction. This method, developed by scientist Michael Manovich and mapped by Gary Flandro, allowed Voyager to visit multiple planets using far less fuel. Originally, NASA hoped to explore all the outer planets with the Voyager mission, but budget cuts forced a scale back. Even so, Voyager 2 managed to visit Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989, giving humanity its only close-up views of these distant ice giants. After their planetary tours were done, the Voyagers just kept going. They weren't designed for it, but they've managed to keep working for decades. Scientists now use them to study the boundary of the solar system, especially the heliopause, the region where solar winds meet the interstellar medium. This zone is full of shifting magnetic fields, unexpected radiation, and other phenomena that challenge old ideas. One surprising finding beyond the heliopause was that cosmic rays, high-energy particles, are much more intense there. Scientists describe it as like stepping from a quiet street into a blazing storm of radiation. These particles can damage electronics and even pose dangers for future interstellar missions. The data from Voyager is being compared with new emissions like NASA's interstellar boundary explorer, IBEX. These comparisons help scientists build better models of how our solar system interacts with the galaxy around us. In 2023, Voyager 1 picked up something unexpected, a persistent low-frequency hum. This was not a malfunction, it was the sound of interstellar gas. Scientists were amazed. It meant that space is not completely silent. As Nicola Fox, head of NASA's Heliophysics Division, said, these faint signals carry incredible stories about the conditions in the vast space beyond the Sun, one of the most dramatic challenges the Voyagers face is power loss. They run on plutonium, which decays slowly, producing less and less heat and electricity over time. To save power, NASA has shut down many non-essential systems, including heaters. Yet, somehow, five scientific instruments have kept working, even in temperatures far below freezing. In 2014, IBEX detected a strange brightening of energetic particles near the heliopause. This, along with other data, suggested that Voyager the first of may have crossed into interstellar space years before Voyager 2, even though it launched first. These puzzling findings have made scientists rethink where the solar system actually ends. In a recent statement, science educator Bill Nye shared an astonishing update. Voyager 1 detected over 300 massive, unidentified objects floating in space. This announcement lit up scientific communities around the globe. Were they rogue planets? Brown dwarfs? Or something entirely new? No one knows for sure yet. The mystery deepens. This new discovery has astronomers speculating. Some believe these objects might be primordial bodies, leftovers from the birth of our galaxy. Others think they could be invisible planets only detectable by the gravity they exert. Either way, the data has made one thing clear. Space is far stranger than we thought. Even now, after nearly five decades, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still out there. They float silently in the dark, far beyond any planet, moving through the unknown. Each bit of information they send is like a message in a bottle from the cosmic sea. Their endurance shows what's possible when we build with care, courage, and vision. Their legacy will live on not just in textbooks but in future missions, like NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, IMAP, which launches in 2025. This next generation probe will continue the search for knowledge where Voyager left off. As scientists look ahead, they remain in awe of what the Voyagers have taught us. Dr. Edward Stone, longtime Voyager project scientist, once said, these spacecraft are our silent ambassadors. They are carrying the story of Earth into the stars. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.